Imagine a world where no matter how hard you crashed your drone, how much punishment it took, it never broke. Well, that fantasy just became reality. from UAV Futures and today, well, I can't even do my intro right because this is arguably one of the most exciting videos we have ever done. I can't believe we're about to see this. What this is, this is the Korea Rear Talon, the new version of 2020 and this race frame, it's aerodynamic and it is strong as I can't believe it. Normally, I don't swear. This is like an unbreakable frame. When you see the punishment we put this thing through, I mean hit after hit after hit with a golf club. It is still here. This frame right here, believe it or not, it might look fine to you in the roof cam. It is still super robust, like trying to pull this thing apart. Very, very tough, but it has had more beatings than any other quad we have ever seen, and it still stood the test of time. So this is all about the frame. We're gonna break it down, look at the text and the specs, and most importantly, so it comes together and beat it up, show you just how much punishment it can take. And then a part two video should be coming out in a little while if it's out by the time I put this video out. A little card should pop up there where we do take this thing out, rip it around a little bit more. And normally I put both my videos together. First, I'll explain for some later reasons why that's not the case in this one. Before we get started, we're gonna play a little game. I want you to put in the comments down below what crash has caused your drone to break. So maybe it was a big gnarly crash where you expected it, or if you just had one of these other little carbon frames with thin arms or something, what small crash might have done that might have caused some damage. And then we'll play a little thumbs up, thumbs down part two where thumbs up if you are, when you see the punishment that we have when we give this drone, thumbs up if you're impressed, thumbs Thumbs down if you expected more because I can almost guarantee that uh, 99 out of 100 people are not going to believe their eyes when they see just how much punishment this frame can take. So we're going to roll that now. We're going to put some stuff on the screen and basically it is me hitting with a golf club. It is just next level crazy. I can't believe how much punishment this drone takes. So let's roll that and then we're going to cut back to the footage here on the bench. So you get ready to get set to get stunned because you just, you're not going to believe it. Three, two, one. Go out here in the field. Now, before we go for a bit of a rip, uh, what I need to do, I need to adjust the antennas on the actual flying rig. But how durable is this? We're with the young man, the resident racer, Granger, in the background. He's doing a bit of cleaning up. Thank you very much, Granger. Why do you have your golf club? What's going on here? Playing golf today. All right, let's see if we can get a hole in one and put your innuendos down below. But we are going to be hitting this thing and finding out. Like, give that frame a flex for me, will you? This is my spare frame. I want you to pull it apart. See if you can use those pectoral muscles. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just flexes, that's it. So there we go. This, I'm pretty excited. Uh, injection molded plastic. We'll see how tough it is. Let's try and replicate what those crashes are going to be like and how is your frame going to hold up. So we're going to get Granger to smash it with the golf club. We'll give it a couple of hits. See if we can put it in some slow-mo for you guys as well and just see how it goes. Ready? Let's do it. All right, I want you to try and... If, what it is going to happen, if you clip the top, that back wing right there, maybe the top canopy will come off, but I don't even know. I reckon this thing might be pretty solid. You ready? I'm just going to... I'm gonna smash break your golf club. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna smash it. I reckon. I don't know, we'll see. Alright, ready? Bro, how are you so far back from that? Man, you got the worst golf stance I've ever seen. I haven't played golf since I was 10. Oh, why are we getting you to do this? I'm good at breaking things. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, ready? Yep. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Man, that was a solid hit. All right, what's happened? The battery just got destroyed. The battery's taking a beating. The battery is dead beforehand. Yeah, the, this was an old battery. All right. Um, I just want to do it again. Should we go again? Yeah, I'm going to. No, nah, I'm going to. Okay. If I'll do 100%, <laughs> I'll do 110%. All right, all right. All right, take two, bro. All right, here we go. Yep. Oh! That smashed the frame, surely! <laughs> Did it? God, that was solid. Let me have a look. What? There's not even a scratch. <laughs> this My actually hasn't God! All right, let's take the battery out. What do you reckon? Let's smash it without the battery, yeah, see what happens. It. Yeah, all right, we're taking the battery off. Let's do it. Smash it. This is the one. Mark and the top's gonna come off if you if you hit the... Oh, you... you... <laughs> Nothing I happened. It. I missed it. 
All right, make sure, focus. I want to, I prefer, don't go crazy. Remember, golf is all about technique. I want you to get a nice, clean hit on the frame. It's all about the hips. Come on. It's all about the hips. On the frame. Oh, that. That was a beautiful hit. All right, let me have a look. What's the damage? Nothing. I don't think so. You can see, we've, you've hit it. Oh no, there's no way that's gonna crack. All right, give me a hit. Yeah, let's see if Stu. Do you reckon, oh, you reckon you can still fly that? Yeah. All right. All right, Stu, do you reckon you can do better than me? Yeah. Well, probably not. I haven't played golf in probably a very, very long time. Need some practice. It's all in the hits, Stu. Great. <laughs> All right, but what I'm trying to do, I am trying to hit it on the side. So we're going to try and hit it in the middle of the, between the arms, strut across there. I think we're going in slow mo. Let's do it. Got the. You got to do this with your feet. Oh! At least I hit three. it the first time. Take three. I need to prop it up just a little bit. Here we go, like this. Off the. There we go. That, that is asking for it. All right. Oh! <laughs> Hole in one. I don't think anything broke on that. Jesus. It's perfectly fine. All right, mate. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, let's check out the damage. Oh, <laughs> that's ridiculous. It's just a dent. <laughs> oh, does that, dent. that tiny bit at the top there. Ginger, we've had some fun with the Korea rear injection molded plastic frame. It has taken, like, literally an absolute beating, multiple different angles. I'm disappointed it didn't break. Why? <laughs> what did you think I when really you first picked it up? I honestly thought I'd be able to break it, but it's... All it does is bend like a minuscule. Do you reckon you could still take that flying and rip around and have a good time? Any day of the week. This is probably the strongest bloody design I've ever seen. Alright, there you go. So what we're going to do, stay tuned, because I think in a part two as well, uh, I've got to go home, fix up some of the antennas, and we'll take it for a rip. But yeah, first impressions, the frame... Is very strong. Very, very cool stuff. Golf club approved. Golf club approved. <laughs> Fucking was swinging as hard as I could. <laughs> and look at it. It's a little, like, teeny bit bent. Yeah, there, it's, a, a, it's, a it it's a tiny bit deformed. There's a little ripple in the top. Uh, a little ripple at the back. But, nah, Robust. battery strap broke. Yeah, the battery strap's <laughs> been smashed. I want to break that battery. Now. Crazy. Rightio, so you can't tell me that that is not the most impressive stuff you have ever seen. When it comes to a racing frame that is premium, designed by Korea Rea, it is absolutely mind-blowing just how much punishment you can give a drone. Now, imagine getting a drone that you never have to replace. A very, very cool stuff. You can see I've got my bind and fly here. It's got some of the turbine motors on here. Very, very cool stuff. That's going to be coming up in the part two when you see the flight performance. Very, very crazy. But let's do it as an overview. The frame itself, let's stick it on the scales. You can see like two main parts of the frame and the rest is like just two piece, two standoffs and like four screws. So I'm putting my screws in here. Oh, great. Oh, let's, we've got to tear this off actually. Tear, tear, let's, let's tear this off. Here we go. All right, so let's put the screws in and then all you've got, you can see you've got two little standoffs that comes in two parts. You've got your top canopy, which protects everything. And you've also got your uh, robust, I don't know what you call this, the base plate or something. Put that on there. The whole thing, it's coming in at about 109 grams. So this injection molded, super strong frame right here, 109 grams. If we put the entire quad on, this is with some super beefy motors. Take those screws out of there actually. And that is coming in 320 grams. Yeah, it's not the lightest frame in the world, but we have some crazy performance motors. Don't judge it too much by what's inside. For me, the big part, the frame itself, 100 grams and almost unbreakable. Now let's talk about the actual frame design itself. When it comes to frame design, Korea Rea 
I would say are some of the most innovative, best frame designers on the market. They are up there. Let's have a look at what they've done in the past. They've made the waffle frame, which was uh, just thinking totally outside the box. Very, very cool stuff. I liked it. It felt totally different than anything else I've had to fly around. Crazy float times. We, they were one of the first people ever to do the vertical arms in the original Talon, the Korea Rear Talon V1, which has have a few iterations. I put on a TPU mount on the top here, but this frame right here with carbon, extremely fast, felt fantastic in the air. They are up there, as far as I'm concerned, with companies like Catalyst Machine Works when it comes to their Bengod, uh, Armiton when it comes to their original Chameleon. Like these people, they're making cool frames and Korea Rear is right up there with the best of their best. They're not like some of the other drone designers who you've seen they did what what do we got we got four skinny arms and two a top plate and a bottom plate yawn if i have to see another one of them i'm just going to fall totally asleep korea Rhea, thank you for making cool stuff and pushing the envelope nobody's going to look back in time and say hey remember those four flat pack arms that stuck together they're going to be looking at drone uh, designers who innovated did something cool korea Rhea, you are absolutely up there smashing it and uh this air let's get into the nitty-gritty of this frame as well it is designed it's a mix of four resins uh, three or four resins all mixed together and everything on here has a bit of an airfoil shape and you can even see the trailing edges right here where you might be getting a bit of a drag when a bit of drag when this thing is slicing through the air they're kind of all pointed out so you shouldn't be getting getting any drag it's got a little bit of a fin on the top as well which is going to help you in some of your corning ca cornering characteristics and on the outsides right here you can see we have these little spikes which uh, as well as digging into the ground maybe just a little bit I don't really like that part but they're going to be protecting your motors and my only criticism of this this frame something that I don't like in terms of protection because it is going to protect your components to boot it is going to be very very hard to break anything in here the only time you're going to get unlucky is if you cop a unlucky motor strike into a pole on the outside so we've got one built up right here the only time when I think gee, maybe you could get unlucky is if something hit on the outside of your motors I would have liked to have seen this spike just maybe protrude on the outside just here and that way, everything uh, is very, very well protected. That is the only difference that I would have made in the design. But other than that, I think uh, in terms of protection, absolutely. We've never seen a frame protect our component, 10 out of 10. We've never seen a frame that may, is pretty much unbreakable like this. So I'd say durability, 10 out of 10. Price, it's $58 or $48 if you get one with a coupon. That part is insane. It's just, and it's so easy to build. Hey, can you build my frame, Stu? Yeah, what do I have to do? Well, you take this part. And you put that one top part on, and then, um, oh, well, we're done. Have you put your four screws in? Oh, I've got to do everything. Yeah, and then you put four screws in. So absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the pros and cons, outstanding. We'll tell you, even with the overhead smash, you can tell I'm very, very excited. There is, however, one part when it comes to building that uh, I wasn't the greatest fan of. And also, you can hide your antennas anywhere you like. So in this one, it's actually hollowed out inside the fin right here, and they had some of their uh, receiver antennas in here. We had a little TBS Crossfire receiver antenna in here. The only part I don't like, actually, is on the back here where you put your little, you can see it just here, uh, when you've got your little antenna mount in the back is if it's very tricky to take that off unless you have a bit of slack once you take that off because it's attached here you can easily pull it off your vtx antenna which i think is what's happened in here so my vtx antenna i've got to reattach which is why there's no part two today we were going to hit it with the speed gun all that sort of stuff but my antenna was a little bit loose in there so i don't know has that happened for me just taking the top off to have a squeeze you'd probably be more mindful of it if you built it yourself but that's the only part that i probably would change uh in there i might have it so i could just zip tie it down or something another plus about this frame your long range capabilities should be outstanding. Why? There's no carbon in here to block any of the RF signals or anything like that. You don't have to worry about sticking your antennas out the back. Stick them wherever you want because this thing, it's all plastic. It's not going to interfere too much with the RF frequencies anyway of your radio or your VTX. So all in all, Korea Rhea, that is the part one review of the Talon and I just am absolutely blown away. You have far exceeded where I thought drones would go. It is, I've seen an awful lot of drones in my time and it is definitely not every day that we something, see something so spectacular. You made a huge impact with the original Talon. The, uh, this one, the Kia, you know, it wasn't everybody's cup of tea, but I gotta say, I thought you did some very cool stuff. You're very innovative. You're right up there as far as I'm concerned. Cattle Machine Works, Armiton, Korea Rhea, 
consistently make beautiful drones and this bad boy for anybody who is interested in like a just general a frame that's never going to break looks cool and is super fast because in some of the punch outs i've done very very cool even though we had a uh, limited reception in the goggles very very cool stuff so i can't wait to see what the future holds and i'd love to know what you guys think about it did it take more abuse than your current frame and what do you think about the price i mean 58 bucks for something like this you just it's it's gorgeous there's so many little nuances too you know like the way that this it's sunken in here so you can put a little sticky pad underneath it's got uh 20 by 20 matting hole it's just it's a work of art so definitely uh very very cool stuff and this is the frame i've been beating with a golf club that's the part i can't believe and i can still put it on the bench and talk about it you can see there's a tiny little bit of uh deformation just here when i clipped it i put it on the side and swung a golf club directly into this just I don't know, just mind-blowing stuff. Anyway, definitely subscribe for more FPV-related content. I'll put the links down below. Go check them out. Let me know what you think as well, and stay tuned because we have part two coming up in just a little bit. So uh, on that, uh, I said the other bit. So yeah, uh, on that, uh, congratulations, Korea.